Good morning, good morning. It's Wednesday, December 29th on the East Coast of the United States, 2021. It's about 6.45 a.m. And um, I've been, you know, oh, before I make the coffee, I'll tell you about this. I have started listening to a book called A Short History of Coffee by Gordon Carr. And so far, it's pretty interesting. And one of the things that I learned is that coffee originated in Ethiopia. Like that's where, you know, coffee bushes, I guess, started growing and they started first making coffee um, in general. So I thought, okay, this is getting to the coffee making part. I happen to have an original line capsule of Ethiopia and a Virtuo capsule. So I thought I will make both of these today and taste them. You know, I often wonder, um, does the original line of something taste the same as a Virtuo line of something with the same name? So I've got some cups set up and I've got my Virtuo Ethiopia there and I've got my original line here. We'll just close that. Now, this coffee is dry roasted um, rather than wet roasted. Um, and it's got an intensity of four. Uh, it's an Arabica coffee. And let's see, what else did I learn? Oh, it's supposed to be like fruity, floral, blueberry, maybe a hint of musk. I read this recipe for it. I was gonna make it this morning, but then I thought, I don't know, this sounds more like a later in the day thing because it involves using um, citrus syrup and thyme and fizzy water. Mm, you know, not for seven in the morning. <laughs> not yet. Oh, hey, and Josh is watching from Australia. Hey, and good evening to you. So what is it about, I don't know, seven at night or 10 at night or something there? And, um, oh, here's a fact that I read that somewhere between 200 and 400 billion cups of coffee are drunk around the world every day. Now, um, a lot of sources say two billion, so maybe the four billion one is because they're measuring in less than a <laughs> less, uh, you know, half size cup or something, so they get twice as many. Oh, Josh says, oh, te it's it's almost eleven p.m. in Australia right now, almost seven a.m. on the east coast of the United States. Well, let me get these going, and as you know, the uh, Virtuo line has barcodes on the capsules to tell the machine how much water and how to brew the coffee. And this is a Gran Lungo size, which is 5.07 ounces. So we'll get that going. And then the original line Ethiopia, that's an espresso, so that's 1.35 ounces. So that's gonna go pretty quick. Now you can tell already that the Virtuo is going to have a lot more crema, you know, proportion-wise than the original line. But we're gonna be comparing tastes, so I'm gonna to try to fold that crema in. And Josh tells us that the original line can be brewed as an espresso or as a lungo. You know what though? 
a lot of people have told me that they really prefer, even the capsules that are made to brew as lungos, they prefer as espressos. So the espresso has um, a lot less water in it. Okay, so. Here we've got the two. We've got the original line, uh, the original line and the Virtuo. Okay, so let's start with kind of spoon in this cream of some. And I, I guess I'll give this a taste. You know what, let me get another spoon for the original line. Of course, I don't think that the taste of one, you know, if I use the same spoon, I don't think it, it'll affect the taste, but oh, just for scientific accuracy. Okay, so I will try this Gran Lungo from my Virtuo line. Actually, it's kind of a nice flavor. It's nice and mild. Now, what should I do now? Am I supposed to take some water and swish it around and spit it out? I don't know. I'll just give this a try and see if it tastes the same. Okay, i tell you this right now. The espresso definitely tastes more intense, okay? The Virtuo, let me try it one more time. The Virtuo is much milder. So there's a feeling or a sensation that one gets on the back of and sides of the tongue that's sort of astringent, that is much stronger in the original line. Ethiopia. Which do I like better? You, I mean, you know me. I like more intense coffees better, and this is only an intensity of four, but, and I like more woody, oaky, cocoa kind of notes in the coffee rather than the fruity and floral like this is, but hey, these were the two capsules I had, you know, that happened to run on both machines, so I wanted to give it a try. Yeah, definitely mild. Definitely kind of a more, more intense. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get some oat milk here. Okay, where's, here's my oat milk. You know, cause I always feel like oat milk improves everything. So I just pour a drop in here and a drop in there and give it a try and see how they compare. Okay, that's very, very mild. Oh, interesting. The oat milk has cut the astringency of this um, original line. You know what though? It's a little bit cooled off. Oh, I love that crema on the Virtuo one. Let me go ahead and zap these in the microwave a second. Hang on. Okay, let's see. So we'll just kind of heat that up because my oat milk sort of cooled things off a little bit. And I wish everybody that's watching, hope you've had a Merry Christmas and wish you a Happy New Year. And all right, two, one. All right, here we go. Okay. That's nice and warm now.
Okay. Now, I will say this. I feel as though the flavor of the Virtuo Ethiopia has, it's been kind of washed out by the oat milk. I mean, it's good, but actually it was better before I put the oat milk in. This tastes okay. You know, the oat milk has smoothed out that astringency. Now, is it perhaps that I just tend, because I like intense coffees more, maybe that's why I prefer the Ethiopia in the original line with some oat milk in it? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? Do you have any opinions? What Have you ever um, compared a Virtuo with an original line and the same coffee? I would love to hear your opinions, too. So I see, oh, Kitsa is watching, Anna Maria, Josh. I'm so glad that we can gather like this. You know, one of the things that I have read, and I think we all know so much about coffee, is the culture around coffee, which has been for hundreds of years, people gathering together to discuss things and share time together, sort of like a little community. And you know, hey, we're continuing that on the internet, right? So I am, you know, I'm wondering if I should just pour one of these into the other. Oh. This is good. This is too bland. I feel like Goldilocks and the Three Bears, you know. Oh, this porridge is too hot. This porridge is too cold. This porridge is just right. <laughs> but I'm not going to pour them together. Honestly, I feel as though this Virtuo line, now if you like really mild coffee, you know, you would probably like this. But that oat milk, which normally to me really improves the flavor in something, it's just kind of washed out the flavor of this um, Ethiopia for the Virtuo. And notice that if you wait, if you don't like crema, the crema will dissipate. <laughs> So, and you won't have lost anything because it's just returning those oils back into your cup of coffee. Here, I give it one more stir. Give it one more try. You know, I do like a lot of the Virtuo coffees, but I gotta say that I like more of the original line ones. Yes. Okay, so there you have um, my <laughs> uneducated opinion, my review of uh, Master Origins Ethiopia on the Virtuo and on the original line. I hope you have a really good day and make good choices.